What is up guys? Today we are starting off the video here in the garage again, but we are not taking out the boat. We are going to be actually doing some Christmas shopping as well as going to be doing some casts at some urban spots. But I wanted to start off the video. Got two packages that came in. One of them I'm pretty excited for. The other one I'm also excited for, but it's going to be a little bit of work to do. A lot of you guys know that I have the... Where the heck is it? The Clash Ghost. And for a while, I've always wanted to have like a short lip for the Clash Ghost. And for a while, they were doing like prototypes on it. And a lot of people had to make their own little lips for the Ghost. Luckily enough, DRT now makes actual lips for the clash ghost now so i ended up buying a one roll lip and then i got two just short lips now the other thing that i got is actually for one of my reels it's for my z200 and z200 it's on the older side so i wanted to replace the drag because the drag just seemed to be old and just really really bad so I went to, what was the name of it? Mike's Real Repair. I just ended up ordering a drag washer for the Z200. Hopefully it'll help the drag out a bit. So I'm gonna get some of this gear together and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, so we pretty much got all the gear ready to go. It's actually more gear than I thought I was gonna bring, but you never know. So let's get down to the pond and let's start fishing today. All right, so we just made it down to the first pond. It's good old Chaparral Park, one of my staples. They stocked trout in here like a couple weeks ago, so we're gonna probably throw around either the punker or maybe the battle shad. So let's get down to the pond and rig up. So I decided to tie on the Working Class Zero Citizen. The water's pretty dirty. We've been having a lot of rain these past couple of weeks out here in Arizona. So the water's a little more on the stained side. So we're gonna be throwing around the Citizen. Something that moves quite a bit of water and uh, we're gonna see if we can't get a bite. So let's go on ahead and get around this pond. This goose right here has, it has fishing line on it. So I don't know, I'm gonna try and get it off. Well, I guess that <laughs> rescue mission went successful. First time I've ever done that. So, glad we were able to help it out because that thing just looks super distressed. It had a hook in its beak in the bottom lip and then the line was around its foot. So it's like this. Its nose would go underwater. It'd have to come up and then its nose would get pulled back down under. So, don't think it would have survived much longer on it. So, let's see if we can't catch a fish now. You 
You know, there's been a lot of debate and discussion in the swim bait community as of recently, and to kind of give a backstory of the actual content of what's being discussed is a lot of guys, they've been going down to Mexico, like Lake Bacharach, um, Comanche, those lakes down in Mexico, and they've been throwing swim baits and they've been catching really giant fish, you know, fish anywhere from eight all the way up to like 12 pounds on these swim baits. And they've been posting them up and they've been, you know, getting likes and they've also been getting people that don't really like exactly what they're doing. So there's guys out there that their PB might be like six or seven pounds. They'll go down to Mexico, they'll catch like an 11 and be like, all right, that right there is my personal best fish like of all time. And there's people that are like, awesome, that's a big ass fish, like congratulations. Then there's other people that are like, yo, I don't really think that should count as your personal best just because you didn't really earn that fish, just because you were guided, you've never been to the lake, and you didn't really put in a lot of effort to catch that fish. So a lot of people don't want to credit those who have caught in those giant fish down in Mexico. It's been kind of going back and forth on it. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people love going down there. And for me personally, if I went down to Lake Bacharach, and I caught like a 12 pounder. Personally, I wouldn't count it as my personal best just because for me, when it comes down to catching these fish, I know that here in Arizona at least, I can catch an 11, 12, or 13 pound fish. It's gonna be really, really hard to do that, but my lakes provide me that opportunity to catch a fish of a, of a true lifetime here in Arizona. Now, some people in like the North or the Northeast, the biggest fish they might catch ever is like a seven or eight pound fish which for me thinking about it if you catch a seven or eight pound fish in the northeast that's like me catching like a 10 or 11 down here it's a giant fish for that specific region so in my mind there's there's pros and cons to the debate like i said personally for me i just would not count it as a personal best just because here in arizona i can catch that that caliber of fish and i want to earn it I don't want to have a fluke fish uh, where I don't have a cool story behind it. Like, uh, I knew that they were going to bite on this moon phase. This was like that. I knew they were going to, you know, there's not going to be a cool story behind it. I don't want to have like a, oh, I just randomly went down a bank and I caught a 10. That's, that's the story. I, like, I feel like to me that wouldn't be an awesome story to tell. So I would rather go through the hours and the grinding and just losing my hair just to find that fish of a lifetime and feel like I truly earned it myself. So like I said, there's pros and cons to it. Some people, they don't like it. Some people love it. So I want to know what you guys think about those dudes going down to Mexico and catching those giant fish. But personally, those are just my thoughts on it. So. All right, we got to go to a place that I don't really like going to, but we just got to go there today. So. Let's get there. This place, I don't normally like coming here anymore just because they don't really have anything that I even like. But I gotta get my dad a new Christmas present, which it's gonna be one of these rods. I just don't know which one yet. It's kind of hard to pick out a spinning spin cast rod when I haven't bought one in many, many years. So I don't know which one's good or not. It's kind of hard. put this one back. Just a little too bulky. Just a little too bulky. So 
We're gonna grab this one. Phew. Okay, that took longer than expected, but we got the ride. It's all that matters. I've been watching a lot of Casey Neistat lately, so I just kind of wanted to make a vlog today. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed it. It wasn't anything too exciting, but it was just good to get out and film and make a few casts, even without catching a fish. Saved a, a goose today. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, go out there and chase your dreams.